So I'm about to show you how to export your clip. That means how to uh, transform one, two, three, four, five different videos into one. It's really simple. Just go on file, export, and you'll see this export menu. And of course, before you export, you want to save your progress. Okay, so saving your progress and exporting your video are different things. You can file, save, project. If this is the first time that you have saved, you have to give it a name. Let me name one test. Let me call it instead video to tutorial olive video tutorial and this will make a file that looks like this one this is how a olive video project looks like on your computer so that way you can just uh, by saving you can just close out of olive Open Olive back again, and you can open a recent project. That's how you can save your prog uh, progress. But now, how do you actually uh, compile all the videos into one? Okay, because remember that we had a bunch of videos. I had like an entire folder of like videos, and I want them to just uh, be combined combined into this video so let's go ahead and click on file export and here we can choose what type of video we want there's a bunch of formats and my advice is don't even worry about it okay if for whatever reason you need to export in a certain format if you are working for someone or you are like making like a video for school and they specifically say I want the video to be format uh, FLB then just choose that format I want the video to be AVI choose that format if not you can just stick with the default meaning uh, MPEG 4 video this is in my opinion the best format because uh, it's a small size, uh, size. Uh, pretty uh, light on your memory and uh, on your hard drive and it looks super good so just uh, stick with it and you can also choose over here your codec again don't mess with it the width and height again don't mess with it uh, and so on the only thing that you need to mess with is with this with the quality so let's mouse over the arrows here and we will see this quality factor so we can choose a number between 0 and 51 and 0 means lossless quality meaning the quality will be as good as the original video if we choose 51 it will be the lowest quality possible so let me show you how that looks let me go ahead and write 51 so we can make it the worst quality possible once we choose the quality we want just uh, so I can show you how the worst quality looks let me choose the worst as an example and then let's click on export once we do we'll be prompted with this menu that will basically ask the following where do you want to save the video where do you want to save the video let me choose here and then you need to name your video let me call it worst if I can actually spell worst quality Click on save 
Once you click on save, the video will begin to export. At this point, your computer might get really hot, okay? So, your video will take a long time to export. That is normal. All programs, no matter which one you're using, will take, will take a long time to export your video. Uh, if you make it really low quality, it will take the least time. If you make it the best quality, it will take the most time. And as a rule of thumb, each video will take either two times as long as the video or as fast as the video actually lasts, depending on how fast your computer is. It's almost done. Let's just wait for it. My computer is kind of kind of halfway there, kind of good, kind of bad. Uh, it was a good computer back when it came out and I was super old. And now on the folder that we are storing our videos, here we have a worst quality. Let's double click on it. And yeah, that is horrible. Complete trash, <laughs> pretty much unusable. So let's forget about that. We can use hit a uh, file, export. Something that you need to keep in mind, the export panel does not remember the quality you choose you chose last time. You always have to edit the quality. Don't forget this if you just uh, export just like that, it will always export at 36. So always modify your quality. Now, if I hover over, I can see that the 23 is high quality. Let me choose 23. They recommend 23. Let me see how 23 looks like. Let me call that high quality. Let's see how long that lasts. I'll just pause the video so you don't have to wait as long. Did I miss it? I think I missed it. <laughs> the export just finished. Oh, there's my OBS. So now we have on our folder, worst quality. It looks like garbage. Now let's see high quality. Okay, it's quite good. I mean, if you're super nitpicky, you might see, like for example, look at his beard. It's kind of weird, you know, it's kind of fussy. Like there's like some like squares, like jumping in and out of existence over here on the shadows. So it's good, but it's not perfect. Uh, that's the high quality. That's the, the quality they do, do recommend. Let's try the next one. And remember that we can export by hitting Control M or Command M. I'll just hit Control M. So we tried 51. We also tried 23. Now let's try 17. Visually lossless, compressed but unnoticeable. Let me choose 17. That's the what they recommend as as the is that spelled correctly? I don't know. Visually lossless. I don't know if you <laughs> my spelling sucks now. That will of course take longer. And the last video, let me go ahead and pause it so we can compare uh, all of the recordings. Okay, so I'm assuming the recording is almost there. We can see the estimated time is four seconds down here. It's almost done. It's stuck at 100%. That's normal. It should take a sec. Then See visually lossless, probably spelled incorrectly. You know, we can see the video is doing quite better. 
just a bit more detail over here. Okay, the beard. It's blurry because the camera is blurry, but it's not as messy. You can see a bit more detail here in the reflection. You can see that the artifacts are less present, not as bad, but still present. Of course, those might be like present from the beginning. Let's try again. This time. Uh, so last time we tried 17. Now let's go ahead and try zero. Let's hit export. And this will take the longest. Let me choose loss less. Save. And it says that it's going to take about one minute. Let me pause the recording again. Okay, so it's almost done. It's almost done. Come on. And we can see here that the video, it's like almost 30 seconds. So it took about one minute to export. It's taking about double, a little bit double to export. Oh, it looks like it is done. So yeah, now the video is as best as it can possibly be. So we went from this is best quality. This is almost the best quality. This is high quality or medium quality. This is just complete garbage quality. So the main takeaway is when you export, control M, play with this number, find an, uh, an amount that you like and just go ahead and export it. And before I just uh, go ahead and wrap things up, I want to uh, tell you about this thing, range entire sequence. So we can choose to export the entire sequence or just an in and out point. Remember that we used in and out points right here to create, to choose the in point and the out point before dragging it to the timeline. We can actually create in and out points on the timeline itself by pressing I and O. That's the out point. So let's say I just want to export this part. I can create an in and out point by hitting I and O on your keyboard. Remember, I stands for in point, O for out point. Let's go ahead and export and select in and out. Let's choose it's a tool of quality and export. Now let's call that in, oh God, in, out. That's a, a lot faster because it's only exporting this blue part. It's done. And if we open our folder and click on in and out it exported only the in and out point we can tell because it started over here and our in point was over here you can right click on the blue bar you can reset each point i do recommend just clear in and out that just removes the whole thing you can also put in an in point by right clicking here if you right click here, it will not do the trick. You have to click up above. Or just get rid of, I mean, just get rid of everything. Just clear in and out. And that's it. That's how you can export your video. And once your video is made, just choose the 
quality you like. Pink, lossless, of course, is the best. And then you can just take this file and just upload it whenever you need to. Yeah, thank you very much for sticking around. The next couple of tutorials will be advanced tutorials of Olive, some tips and tricks, how to make uh, things faster, how to make uh, some effects, uh, and so on. And yeah, for the, uh, if you made it this far, you basically know everything you need to know if you just want to make, you know, a video uh, where there's like people around and the camera, you want to make like a, like a zoom in and out, uh, you want to add like a title, you'll do just fine with the following tutorials. If you want to then make uh, a little bit of animations and special effects, basic effects, the next couple of tutorials will do the trick. But yeah, thank you very much. And if you want more info on this program, uh, stick around to the next couple of tutorials. But yeah, happy editing.